Hello, my friend, and welcome back. Today, I would like to talk about, I feel like it's kind of like a, a reoccurring theme in these videos, but I'm feeling that it is important to talk about. I want to talk about right now being a time to go within. And I think that it kind of always has been the theme of my videos, but I think that right now, during this time especially, we need to go within. Because I think that right now is a really easy time to get wrapped up in the outside world. Wrapped up in choosing sides. Wrapped up in a false narrative of taking a stand or, you know, you know, you may think joining the pack or taking the stand, being a leader, or being a follower. And yes, all of those things are coming into play right now, but you really need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You, I love that saying. Um, but we really need to take that to heart. Before you go and choose a side or take a stand or, you know, start posting all these things and sharing all this stuff, you know, this might not be right or this, this, this. Before you become really wrapped up in that, I encourage you to go within, to really take some time to really get quiet spend some time I'm sorry I have a hair I can't get spend some time out in nature really get quiet really listen to that inner voice what is that inner voice telling you what is your guidance telling you what is that gut feeling what is that intuitive feeling telling you what is that nudge nudging you towards currently and Remember that your intuition and the divine acts in the present, in the present moment. So try not to get too wrapped up in what's going to happen or, you know, what stand you should take and that you should have forever. Because remember, things are always changing, including what is happening, including the divine. It's ever changing. It's ever evolving. And the plans are changing and, you know... The future is changing and it's going to continue to change until it happens. Until the future is the present moment, it is going to continue to change and evolve. So that is why becoming too dogmatic on one side or the other can sometimes, I don't want to say can sometimes come back to bite you, but it can kind of set you up for a lesson which isn't exactly a bad thing, but when you become too dogmatic, you're kind of setting yourself up for life to show you that you shouldn't exactly be so dogmatic about something. And that's because things are ever changing. And just because today something, you know, you might really feel something and you might really believe in something doesn't exactly mean it's going to be what you feel and believe in a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, 10 years from now. And so sometimes we get shooken, we get shook when life gives us that lesson. You're like, wow, I believe this so much. And now my eyes are open to that might not be the way. You know, the lesson is that the only thing you can be sure of is that you're unsure, but it can be taken in a different way. It can be taken in a, you know, well, I want to say it can be taken in a negative way, like the fact that, you know, you don't know everything and you're wrong, but not in a neutral way, in a bad way, like, well, I must you know, might not really be seeing the truth or it might be planting seeds of doubt. Like, you know, my intuition told me this and then, and now it's not true anymore. So now my, I can't trust my intuition. It's not exactly the lesson. The lesson is not to be too dogmatic and to understand that things are ever changing and evolving. So, but for what your next steps is or what my, our next steps are, 
what we need to be doing right now, those answers are going to come to us when we get quiet. And this is the time to get quiet. And I, something is finally just clicking for me, like literally right now. That's why I love to make these videos. I saw um, a post from a spiritual influencer that I really love. It, it, it's one of the most, he, he's one of the first spiritual influencers. I want to say that he really helped ignite me getting on the path of my spiritual journey. And he posted something the other day that I thought was really interesting. And he said that, you know, uh, you're about to see a lot of highly intuitive people go into hermit mode or to really, you know, we're, they're being, we're being called to really limit who we share you know, our visions and information with. And it it didn't make sense. It, not that it didn't make sense to me, but it freaked me out a little bit. It was a little weird. I actually screenshotted it so I could go back and look at it over and over again, which I have. And, you know, obviously I've been feeling like something is coming, but it might not be just one thing. You know, just for reference, this is being shot. What's today's date? September 10th, September 10th, 2021. If you're looking, if you're watching this sometime in the future, you can look and see what happened yesterday. Um, I'm not going to talk about it because that's not the purpose of this video, but the purpose. So what it's clicking for me, get back, getting back to what I was saying, it's clicking for me. I was like, gosh, like w what's happening? You know, what's happening? So something, I don't know if it's something kind of big. I feel like it's kind of like obvious of what was going to happen, happened yesterday. And now I understand because, you know, I feel inspired to share and to also go with, I'm so sorry. Oh, ghost hearings of the dog crying. I'm feeling inspired that we, this is a time to go within because I think this is a really easy time to go without, let's just call it that, and get wrapped up in, you know, maybe things are going to happen or what's going to happen. But I think that we all need to understand that we are a collective, but we are also here having individual journeys. And for our individual journeys, our individual missions that we can't go with the masses and I'm not saying the masses that are doing this or the masses that are not doing it each are the masses don't let it get political because don't let don't fool yourself into thinking that one political side is better than the other. That is where our connection needs to come in. We need to understand that we are all one and that political leaders, you may look to them for guidance or for leadership, but you have to understand that you don't understand, you don't know what's behind them. You don't know where they're coming from. And we understand that we are in spiritual warfare right now. And division is a war tactic. We need to be united. And you, we can be united and have a difference of opinion. That is okay. I don't mean united in a blanket, marching, we all do the same thing. No. I mean united in respecting each other's opinions, respecting that we have a difference of opinion, that we can all be connected, but we can have differences, that that is what makes the world go round. But as far as, you know, I think a lot of people this morning are left with the question, myself included, of what am I going to do? What should I do? what is right for me. And I think that it's very easy to want to seek those answers from any place outside of yourself. But the true answers, the right answer for you right now is going to come from within. We need to stop looking from without. 
And I believe that that is what the spiritual influencer teacher that I believe that is what he was saying when he was saying that intuitives are going into hermit mode it might not exactly mean that they're hiding from the outside world. It means that before they take a stand or before they're going to feed one side or the other or they are not going to feed one side or the other before they are putting out things that are going to be taken as one side or the other. They're going into hermit mode and they're going within to know what their next actions need to be, to know what they should really be sharing as opposed to maybe just sharing things along the lines of something that can be taken and put onto one side or the other because there it's not two sides there is only one side the divine side team divine should i make merch team divine i love that before we do that have to go within what is the divine telling us to do what is the divine saying and sometimes it's nothing. Sometimes we are not meant to be sharing an outside message. Because remember, remember that this work isn't always outside work. Remember Anna, we kept drawing the Anna card. Grandmother of Jesus. She is not a known figure, but she did so much spiritual work that we are now, we are, we have been reaping the ben benefits and we will continue to reap those benefits. So don't think that you need to be out in the streets and outside in this physical world to be making a difference. Okay? Going within, doing that inner work, sharing that light, brightening your own light. That is light work. That is can be just as effective, sometimes even more effective than picketing out in the streets, telling someone, making posts, making your opinions known. This is not the time for that. This is the time for every single person on this planet to get into their heart space, deep in that heart space, and really, really asking and really using your discernment, I asked that in my morning meditation today, that my, discern, my discernment be on point. May I hear my discernment. Is that the dog again? Get up there. <laughs> it was. This is the time to listen to that discernment. This is the time to sharpen that discernment and ask. Let's ask. As a matter of fact, I want, let's, let's ask, let's end this video in an intention. My hair looks kind of wild today too. Do you like it? Let's take a deep breath in. And let's ask God. Let's ask the divine. We come to you. We come to you as humble beings. We come to you as humble humans. We know that we are here having a human experience and we are here before you. We ask the divine, we ask the angels, we ask our guides, the divinities. We ask any spiritual animal, ancestral guides and we ask our higher selves most of all. We ask that our discernment help to lead us down the proper path the proper individual path for every single one of us. We ask that our intuition be louder and clearer and stronger than ever and that our channels of hearing our intuition are clearer than ever. May we hear our intuition louder than ever and may we have the courage to follow that intuition. We understand that this is the time to follow our intuition, to be more in touch with our spiritual selves than we ever have before. 
and we ask that we have the courage to continue to go down our individual paths today, tomorrow, and forever. We also ask that we never lose that connection, that we never lose that connection to you, to the divine, that we never lose that connection to each other. May we understand our oneness. May we understand our connection. May we let go of that separation. May we also understand that our individual journeys and leading our individual journeys with connection in mind that we can do this simultaneously. Please help us to simultaneously maintain our connection, but to move forward and make the choices that are right for our individual journeys. We ask this for the highest good of ourselves, therefore the highest good of all, in the name of love and light. So I want to end the video there. I want to thank you so, so much for tuning in. My name is Anne, and I hope to see you next time. Say bye to Lorenzo. Say bye, Lorenzo. Bye, puppy.